What's up everyone, let's talk for a second here. I've been sitting here thinking to myself, should Sony offer some kind of direct competition to the Nintendo Switch? Since the 80s, uh, with the launch of the Game Boy family of handhelds, Nintendo has held an iron grip on the handheld business. Many companies have tried and failed to compete with them. Some examples were Sega with the Game Gear and the Nomad, Atari with the Lynx, and SNK with the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And more recently, Sony with the PlayStation Portable and PlayStation Vita handheld systems. Out of all of these manufacturers, only one of them has actually come close to going head to head with the Nintendo family of handhelds, and that is the PlayStation Portable versus the DS line. The PlayStation Portable was the first handheld that wasn't made by Nintendo to sell not only over 50 million units globally, but over 80 million units globally. And while it still failed to outsell Nintendo's uh, counterpart, the DS family, that's still some that's still a, a great amount of handhelds to sell. And no one else had ever done it before. Now, the PlayStation Vita is an entirely different story. But if they if either of these handhelds from Sony prove one thing, it's that Sony knows how to make great hardware. They just fail at marketing it, and in the case of Vita, and in the case of Vita, they fail at supporting it throughout the duration of its life cycle. And they're bad. They make horrible decisions when it comes to launching the damn thing. But I digress. Every market has competition. You look at the console business. There's Nintendo. There's Sony. There's Microsoft. Back a few years back, you also had Sega, but they're no longer a thing. In mobile phones and in, you know smartphones, you have Apple. You have Samsung, Sony, LG, HTC, Motorola. You know you have all these manufacturers. It's the same with televisions, computers, vehicle, automobiles. You name it. Any one, think of any business out there, any market, and there's plenty of companies that are involved in said market. The handheld business is strange because so many companies have tried and failed to get in it, but only one seems to succeed, and that's Nintendo. But the funny thing is, is Nintendo is not great at making current up-to-date hardware. Now, you could argue that they might not need to, but I don't see why they don't. Companies like Sony, Sega, Atari, all of these companies that have offered competition to Nintendo always had much more powerful hardware, but they always failed at making great games that rival Nintendo's, except for maybe Sony. You can argue that, but whatever. Um, Nintendo's games speak for themselves. When Nintendo makes a handheld, you don't have to, they don't, they, I don't, I would argue they don't have to market it. People know about it. You're going to get Mario, you're going to get Zelda, you're going to get all these great games. You know, it's, it's a standard. It's what you, people come to expect from Nintendo handhelds. With Sony, though, it's a different story. The PlayStation Portable and the PlayStation Vita had very different libraries of games. And with Sony's uh, just general behavior of always making new games whenever they launch a system, marketing is needed. Because if you make a new title, a new IP, no one's going to know about it unless you market the game and the system it's designed for. In the case of Vita, they didn't do that, hence one of the many reasons why it flopped so hard. The other was in its proprietary cards. But again, Sony can make great hardware, they just stumble in areas where they probably shouldn't, whereas Nintendo makes okay hardware, I mean, well, for the most part it's comfortable, it's just woefully underpowered compared to console counterparts and its competition. But that's why I believe there should be some competition in the handheld business. Whether it be Sony relaunching PlayStation Vita, killing the damn thing off, and just making a whole new handheld, I would like to see some form of competition. Because if someone can do it, it's Sony. Why? Because they've done it before. Albeit with Vita, it was much more of a failure than a success. But with PlayStation Portable, they proved they can make a great handheld with a few drawbacks, but make a massive selection of titles available for it. Now, I was never into PSP that much. I was into DS, but I wasn't into PSP, mainly because of the UMDs, and I wasn't really big into gaming at the time. I mainly owned the DS for Animal Crossing, and that was it. But nowadays, I'm much more involved in the gaming business. I own many consoles across many generations, and in the case of handhelds, I only own my PS Vita. I used to own a 3DS, but I got bored of it and sold it. So with Nintendo going into this new generation of consoles with the Switch, I am fascinated by it. I think it's a fantastic idea, but in an era where consoles are setting new benchmarks in 4K, I just don't see the Switch being viable as a full-fledged console. If it's successful, which I hope it is, I see it more in the fact that this is going to be a handheld. And if that's the case, I don't see any reason why Sony wouldn't want to get in on it. 
regardless of what Shuhei Yoshida and his bullshit remarks on Twitter said that the handheld business isn't healthy right now, it's not healthy for Sony because they fucked up the Vita in, all, in many ways, in ways that mattered, and they just don't care. When was the last time Sony Interactive Entertainment America released a first party title? What, 2015, I think? Or was it 2014? I think it was Freedom Wars was their very like last first party in-house developed title. Everything else these days have come from NIS, Axes, Limited Run Games, or um, Atlas. Everything else, or indie developers too. Everything else isn't from Sony. Nothing is from Sony at this point. So if Switch proves to be a success, it will not only prove that the handheld business is alive in the US and well, but I would love to just see Sony make a console counterpart because the PlayStation ecosystem is one that I am greatly invested in, whether it be because of my PlayStation 3 games, my PlayStation 4 games, or my PlayStation Vita games. It's a it's a it's an ecosystem I'm already invested in, and in the case of the Nintendo Switch, where I personally don't care much for Nintendo IPs, except for Animal Crossing, I more than likely will not be buying one. But it's still a great idea conceptually, and I would love to see Sony make some sort of competition. Not so much, say, as a hybrid kind of deal, but more along a new, just a new handheld, because Nintendo Switch reminds me of PSP Go in the sense that you have this handheld that you can dock with that has a component or video output signal that you can pipe to your television, and you can use a dedicated controller to play the games from while it's docked. PlayStation uh, Portable, or PSP Go did that. You dock the system, component it out, you use a DualShock 3 to play the games. They should do that with another handheld. Make a PS Vita 2 or PSP 2 or PlayStation, call it PlayStation Go, whatever. Port AAA titles from PlayStation 4 exclusives like Gravity Rush 2, Little Big Planet 3, Journey by that game company, and allow for cross-play, cross-save, and you know all that stuff, and, um, and cross-buy, but make exclusive titles for it, and go head-to-head -head with the Switch. Person, what I want to see. What do you guys think? I don't like the idea of one company having an iron grip on one market for too long, because that's when progress begins to slow down. I would personally like to hear what all of you guys have to say about this. Do you think Sony should bother with another handheld? Third time could be the charm. Sony's batshit insane enough to where I can see them doing it. To me, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And I would like to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.